Hi guys, just got a question for you Josh. Do you think a lap pull down is a good exercise for building a wide back? Yeah, very, very good exercise. One of my favourite ones. Wicked. So now we've got that established, do you think, and be honest, that when you first started training you did the lap pull down correctly? When I first started, probably not, to be fair. And do you think we should do a video to help people do their lap pull downs correctly? Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. So guys, the first thing you want to do when you're doing an app pull down. Hold on, what? Well, that's uh, something. Uh, hey, that's what we do. Hey, that's what I like to do that, I think. Right Joking aside, that does lead me on to the first point about what people do wrong when they're doing a lap pull down. So Josh, if you don't mind doing the honours, can you show me what people do when they're trying to shift the weight that's too heavy on the lap pull down? Machine? Ugly form, right? <laughs> How's that feel, Josh? Terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's get cut in there, that's fine. <laughs> Form's pretty ugly, but let's have a look what it looks like in slow motion. that your elbows are not pulling down, which is what, it's called a lat pull down for a reason, yeah? Once your elbows come here, you're rowing again. Let's get those pull downs going down, and I'll move on to tell you some more things you can do to do your lat pull down for better. So that was one mistake you can make. Josh, just demonstrate another technique that people do, which perhaps isn't the best. Okay, so that's the behind the neck lat pull down. Mechanically, doesn't give you an advantage, but can we just agree that it looks kind of unnatural and ugly and you probably shouldn't bother doing it. Oh, check out those biceps, baby. Working those guns. Oh, I saw what you doing back. What's, what's this? What's all this? What's yeah, that's, good, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, one of the things that people do when they're doing a lap pull down is over-engage the biceps because they're used to pulling with their arms. You see this grip? But really, really squeezing on the bar. You don't want to do that because it's going to over engage your arms. So, what you do, put just your fingertips over and focus on pulling back with your elbows. Bang. See that? Biceps not activated. You won't look like the Hulk anymore, but your back is going to grow, so it's better. Let's move on to the next tip. Obviously, there are better ways to train your biceps if that's what you're going to do, but today, we're talking about back. So let's get back to the lap pull-down machine. And we're going to finish on a couple of little technical tips to really help. So the first thing when you're doing a lap pull-down is you want to slightly extend your spine. So you see I'm leaning back slightly? That's a perfect position. Then, when you pull down here, you don't want to go all the way down because that's internal rotation. You don't want those elbows going back. So really, down as far as it's comfortable, Elbows pointing downwards, squeeze the lats, and back up. Some people can go all the way to the chest without hitting internal rotation. I struggle with that, so mine is a little bit more partial, but it depends on your body mechanics, yeah? So, there's the final two tips. Don't internally rotate and get that spine into extension to really engage the lats. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe. Subscribe to Josh's channel, which is on the Gym Bros in my channel page and links below as well. See you next time.